Speaking of emails, what's the best way to email college coaches? Uh, the best way, and I've been helping a lot of kids right now during this is, you know, um, the one thing that most kids do not put is how you can help out the program. You know, uh, I think, I think the, the reality is that every kid at that level, we're talking about the D1 world, is a, you know, highly determined, highly dedicated, highly advanced athlete, you know, and it's not something that's going to make you, that's going to help you stand out if that's on the email, if that's what you put on that you have to offer that you're, you know, really, really dedicated and you're going to work very hard and you're very hardworking or you're the most, you know, working person I'll ever see. There's about 20 other guys that can probably work the same rate, you know, and you're also talking about that everyone at the D1 world or mostly everyone was or is at one point you know, the best player of their state or the best player of the city that they had to offer. And that's the reason why they're there. So those things really don't make you stand out. When writing an email, you know, I would introduce myself. My name is, you know, blank. I am a 2000, whatever. I am a goalkeeper, left back or whatever. These are my fortes. This is why I feel I can help out your program. I feel if you take time to understand what the program, you know, plays or how they play, or if it's actually a school that you want to be, at and you learn about the program and you can and you can help out you know say like i can help out this program because i feel i fit in due to these reasons and i'm a, and i'm capable to do these things you know on the field again highly determined or highly dedicated really doesn't help you stand out and then obviously have your resume if you have a highlight video at that time great and then you know if if, if someone as young as you you know some games that i may be nearby to go watch but you always have to add on your email is how can you help out the program, you know, without it being hardworking? Because those are things that are just expected. You know, um, one, of, one of my first emails back that I received was uh, that they, they weren't going to take any time to show any player to do, you know, to improve. They, just, they don't have time for them. The reality is that, that we don't have time to improve you. We get, literally get, what, four and a half months of season. There's really no time to improve you especially the incoming freshmen, you know, we just expect you to be hardworking, dedicated, and you should be, you know, taking care of your craft alone without us having to get you fit when there's really no time to get you fit. And you have two weeks, you have two weeks to determine where your position will be. If you're a newcomer, are you going to be on the travel squad? Are you going to just be on the, you know, maybe on the non-travel squad, but you know, you're kind of right then and there, you just not taking consideration whatsoever. So all those things are things that, you need to take in uh, consideration when, you know, writing this email because the reality is, yeah, there's a lot of hardworking guys there as well. So how can you stand out and how can you help the team win? Just out of curiosity, how do you, I don't know if it's a secret or not, but how do you find coaches' emails, especially specific coaches like uh, goalkeeper coaches? How I mean, do you find your specific email at UNLV when you, you may not you be listed? Yeah, UNLV will, would have mine listed. I think it would have, if you go to like the, the UNLV staff, it should come up as like a goalkeeper coach and then my, my email. But, you know, it's, it's the, the best. It's honestly the, the hardest thing to find is, is goalkeeper coach's email just because not every program has a goalkeeper coach. Mm -hmm. Not every program has um, a staff goalkeeper coach. They may have, you know, a volunteer coach that, excuse me, that they don't register that is just kind of in the blank. So, my 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 uh take when when i was helping out is always email the assistant coach because more than likely they'll reply a little bit back the the lower they are in the in the ranking of their staff the more chances you had to reply back and then i would always cc the head coach you know a lot of times the assistant coach is the one that's you know maybe doing more of the of the emails and trying to recruit while the head coach is maybe you know in and out of the meetings or dealing with meetings with players or whatever that is um but yeah you, you can type in let's say like UNLV soccer staff and sometimes they come up sometimes they don't you know the the higher the you know the higher the school like your Dukes your your Ohio State maybe they don't have them listed just because I I'm pretty sure there's a whole bunch of kids already emailing them right the last thing you want is just more and more access to it you know right there's a lot of there's a lot of times that, you know, you get emails that, you know, kind of blow you away. It's just, you know, I have zero college, I have zero club experience. Uh, I just started playing last year and I think I'm capable to play D1. 
Hmm. And I'm not saying that the, the athlete isn't, but you know, the odds are they're not, you know, and, and you don't really want to be wasting time with those kind of emails, you know? So um, yeah, I mean, Google search soccer staff, and then, you know, hopefully something pops up and you're able to go from that. Okay. But your, your best bet is, you know, knowing someone, that can maybe help you out. If you have someone, you know, a coach that is pretty high up in the soccer world, they can easily, you know, probably have a phone number on, on their phone. And from there, he just give you the personal email that'll work out better. 